Chapter Five of For Heaven's Sake Little Talks to Little Folks by Reverend Gerald T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Chapter Five The Little Devil with the Long Tail. Once upon a time, there was a little devil named Smur. This little devil was a fast thinker, a fast worker. He never tired. Every day from morning until night, Smur was on the job. His job was to tempt children, to lead boys and girls into sin. Like all little devils, Smur had a long tongue and a very long tail. One day Smur hurried along the street. He was looking for work. Well, Smur found work in front of a large white house. It was here that Smur met little Bobby Nelson. Bobby was watching a pair of roller skates which had been left on the porch of the large white house. Bobby wanted those skates. He could have fun with those skates. Those skates would make him happy. But Bobby was afraid. Bobby was afraid to steal, and the devil knew it. Don't be afraid, said the little devil with the long tongue and the very long tail. Those are mighty fine skates. Why, they're just your size. Think of the fun you can have with those skates. No one is watching, Bobby. Now's your chance. Get those skates. Get those skates. The devil certainly tempted Bobby, and Bobby listened. Bobby decided to take a chance. But just as Bobby opened the gate, someone stepped on the devil's tail. And did the devil jump? Why, the devil screamed and hollered and cried. And what do you think? A guardian angel stood at Bobby's side. Now, if there was one thing that Smur didn't like, it was a guardian angel. So Smur walked away, sat under a tree, and rubbed his tail. Smur was angry. Smur hated that guardian angel. He hated the things that the angel was saying to Bobby Nelson. Bobby! said the angel. I came here to help you. Don't listen to that wicked devil. That devil is trying to get you into trouble. He's trying to lead you into sin. If you steal those skates, Bobby, you'll make a sin. Remember, Bobby, God will never forgive that sin until you return the skates. While the angel was talking, the little devil jumped up and down. He waved his arms. He shook his head. Don't you believe it? Don't you believe it? cried the devil at the top of his voice. But Bobby knew better. Bobby knew that an angel would never tell a lie. Bobby decided then and there that he would not steal the skates. Of course, that made the little devil very angry. Why, Smur was so angry that he flew off in a rage, while Bobby and the angel laughed and laughed and laughed. You all know that each one of you has a guardian angel. An angel whom God has sent to watch over you. An angel who helps you to be good. But what you don't know is that Satan also sends one of his bad angels, a little devil who follows you around, a little devil whose job is to lead you into sin. When you obey, when you are honest, when you speak the truth, when you say your prayers in the morning and at night, when you go to Mass, when you go to confession, when you receive our Lord in Holy Communion, when you do anything that is good, then you are listening to your guardian angel. Now, when you disobey your parents or your teachers, when you steal or cheat, when you tell lies, when you don't pray every day, when you don't go to Mass on Sunday, when you don't go to confession, when you don't receive Holy Communion often, when you do anything that is bad, then you are listening to your little devil. Boys and girls, it's up to you. If you want to save your soul, and I know that you do, then listen to your guardian angel. Your guardian angel always speaks the truth. Your guardian angel will keep you from sin. If you listen to your little devil and his lies, you will fall into sin. Take my advice. Listen to your guardian angel, and watch out for that little devil with a long tongue and the very long tail. End of chapter 5